Hey everyone. How are you doing everybody? So today we're going to be looking at something a little bit different. The UM910 USB podcasting microphone from Uhuru, which actually means freedom in Swahili. We'll be talking about it from the perspective of streamers, but also YouTube content creators. For full disclosure, this is a review unit. Uhuru did reach out to us, asking us to take a look and to test this microphone. But that's not going to affect our opinions in any way. We'll give it to you straight. Right, let's get to it then. The box itself is quite, quite standard, quite minimalist. You've got a nice picture of the item itself. Did unfortunately come with a few scuffs from delivery, but it's not damaged anything inside. Hope. <laughs> it's got a few details on the back, but on the side it outlines a few bullet points. So first on the list, uh, we have hi-fi sound quality. Uh, it also has a 16mm mic capsule in it. Uh, it has a frequency response from 30Hz to 16kHz. It's USB plug and play compliant, and it has a full metal covering. Uh, we'll go into more detail about all of that later. Perfect, let's see what's in the box. Well, it's top quality foam, that much you can see straight away. You get the little manual and a little feedback card, I guess. That's cute. <laughs> so straight away, you can see it's quite compactly placed. So I'm not really keen on how they've crushed the windshield in with the cable, but I guess, I mean, it fills its space. So when once the mic's in there, it doesn't really matter. Uh, and yeah nice long cable by the looks of it usb type a to b the shock mount the stand or part of it at least and the microphone in a protective little bag looks very nice next layer so you've got the pop filter with its own little branding on it lovely and underneath the rest of the stand is pretty heavy to be fair that's definitely got some weight to it yeah well like i said very space efficient with that packaging but i'll put all that to one side so taking a look at the stand a little bit more closely we have the base here uh, yeah definitely very solid we take the arm of the stand here and we can simply screw it in and it fits together as simply as that Looking at the top, we have an integrated 3 8 to 5 8 thread adapter. It's quite interesting that it's built into the stand. I mean, a lot of manufacturers just provide one of those little thread adapters, don't they? But this one doesn't even need it. It's got both options. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's really good thinking by Uhuru. Out of the box, the stand is about 7.5 inches in height. But really nice. You can extend this as well by a further 5 inches. Perfect. The shock mount itself, standard design, quite quite normal looking shock mount. Uhuru do sell a version of this microphone with one of these tripod type stands. I personally strongly suggest if you're going to be using this mic for something like podcasting where you're sat around a table, spend just a little bit more and get one with a sturdy stand it does make a difference and it means that you can lift it off the ground i mean at the end of the day you can't realistically use this without any kind of box to put it on <laughs> alternatively you can also get the boom arm style so they do also sell a version with the boom arm if you like in the hand this feels very sturdy so if we pop this on the scales we can see that it comes in at 205 grams so it's quite a light microphone, but it's still heavy enough to feel robust. I agree completely. It's definitely a professional microphone. You can use this microphone on cheap boom arms, the $10 ones from Amazon. Mm -hmm. We've tested it earlier on the Rode PSA1, and unfortunately it's a little bit too light to be able to put on that because it just doesn't hold the arm in place. As we mentioned earlier, full metal construction. Now, I really like that they've gone for the matte black look. The high gloss mics you see on some cheaper mics, I just don't think it really comes across nice. I think this is really subtle 
and it's it's going for kind of a more premium look and i think it, it just i think it looks really nice personally i like the shape of the grill as well at the top i mean it's not a big thing but it's just a, a nice shape they're going for that kind of vintage microphone look i think aren't they <laughs> yeah so if we look underneath as well we have the usb connection so if i bring the cable up towards the mic and plug it in it clicks into place there there is a little bit of wobble but it's not concerning mm -hmm. it's fitting in as it should do and it's definitely going to be held in there securely it's not going to come loose while you're using it now because this is a usb microphone what that means is that the preamp and the ad converter are inside the microphone mm -hmm. the brilliant thing about that it means you're not going to need an external interface or any kind of mixer to connect it to your computer it's plug and play compliant the drivers will download automatically and you're good to go so no software required either another nice thing about something like the plug and play usb style is if you are doing a bit of traveling and you just want to plug it into your laptop and take it out and about with you this is perfect you don't need all that other equipment that you need to then lug around with you exactly that's a really good point not to mention the fact that it doesn't require its own power adapter either uh, because obviously it takes the power through the usb Uhuru do sell XLR microphones, the equivalent of this. So if you've got a preference, if you've already got an interface, maybe choose that option. But this is great for someone who's just beginning. Just for reference, this review has been recorded using the Rode Procaster microphones. Now we're going to switch over to the Uhuru. Iris is going to run a sound test and we're going to show you the recording in Sony Audio Studio. We're also going to compare it against the Marantz MPM 1000. We'll also compare it to another USB microphone that we've got, but it's a much cheaper one, so you can see the audio quality difference there. As I took another breath, I saw three stars again. They were calling to me. They were letting me go, leaving me to the black universe I'd wondered for so many lifetimes. As I took another breath, I saw three stars again. They were calling to me. They were letting me go. Leaving me to the black universe I'd wandered for so many lifetimes. I drifted into the black and it got brighter and brighter. It wasn't black at all. It was blue, warm, vibrant, bright blue. I floated into it with no fear at all. I drifted into the black and it got brighter and brighter. It wasn't black at all. It was blue warm vibrant bright blue i floated into it with no fear at all so as you can hear this microphone has a very natural warm sound to it if we take a look at the frequency response graph we'll see that there is definitely a lot of bass presence as you can see there's a bump towards the lower end but then it has a very flat response for the rest of the frequency range up until about 15k where it drops off which is exactly as it claims on the box this microphone is designed with a wide frequency response from 30 hertz to 16 kilohertz which is perfect for picking up the human voice if we take a quick look at the polar pattern as well it is cardioid which means that it's kind of heart shaped but it's pointing directly at the sound source this means that there's going to be rejection and coloration along the axes facing away from the sound source. This is particularly beneficial if you're not working in a sound treated room and you don't want those ambient noises being picked up as clearly. Or if like us there's a couple of people talking and you don't want those background noises coming through. We'll do a quick test now to demonstrate that. I really like the design choice that Uhuru have gone, having only the one polar pattern. Time and time again we've seen with microphones in the past where they've sold them and then they've had several different polar patterns. This means that the price of the microphone increases. 
and let's face it, I mean, once you've got a polar pattern that you like, you're only ever going to use that one. You're not going to be switching between them. Well, exactly. And when you think about the target audience, I mean, this is advertised for podcasters, but also mm -hmm. for people doing streaming, gaming. And Cardoid is the best choice for all of those options. Exactly. So wrapping things up, in my opinion, Uhuru have released a really good product here. It's very competitively priced. It comes in about £60. We'll leave links in the description below on where you can find it, as well as their website if you want to check out their other products. But for that, what you get is the full podcasting kit. So if you're starting a podcast tomorrow, this is an excellent option. You can buy it, plug it in your laptop or your computer. You've and got everything you need And right you're there. ready to go. Yeah. Now, this is primarily aimed at podcasting voiceover style work, but it's a condenser microphone, so it should work really well if you want to do some singing or other types of recordings. The quality of it is also, I mean, it's, it's a top quality mic at the end of the day, so it's not just aimed at beginners. Literally any level can go for this. And with the high res AD converter in it as well, uh, it means that you're able to record studio grade quality audio. Mm -hmm. It's going to represent the voice very naturally, whether you're talking into it or whether you're singing into it. And another thing that I personally really like is that this has a very good bass response as well. Mm. When you want to talk into a mic, I think uh, oftentimes it's handy to have that bass response. It makes the voice sound a bit fuller and a bit more natural. I'm really impressed with the quality. I think the full metal construction on the mic is really nice. They've done that really well as well as the stand as well. I mean, this is very solid and heavy metal, so it's a really good quality stand. It is a bit of a shame. There's no rubber feet or any kind of anti-slip uh, base to it, so it does slide around quite easily. But obviously, if you're, you know, talking and it's in front of you, you're not likely going to be moving it at all. As long as you're not knocking it. Exactly, yeah. Now, as we mentioned earlier, we are Twitch streamers. So the boom arm would be a bit more suitable for us rather than the desk stand so that we've got the space in front of us for, for the mouse and keyboard. Now, as far as streaming goes, this microphone isn't going to compete with something like the new wave microphones by Elgato, um, but it's also not trying to. Yeah, I mean, it's about a third of the price at least, isn't it? Exactly. And even though I've seen reviews on YouTube in the past that have cautioned away from buying USB microphones, I don't believe that that's really an issue anymore. Mm -hmm. It's simply the case that nowadays you get USB microphones with good enough AD converters uh, that they're able to record on very high quality sound for all use cases. And this is a great example. Thank you very much to Uhuru for reaching out to us and providing this microphone. Although we're used to using XLR equipment for our streams and for YouTube recordings, it was a great opportunity to check out a USB microphone. Yeah, and thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, it is actually. I'm testing out a USB mic today. You've got a good ear, monkey. Hello, by the way. How are you? Hope you're doing good. I'm going to be doing a review pretty soon in the next maybe week or so and it's called the UM910 by Uhuru so let me know what you think does it sound okay gotcha what are they doing upstairs the bombs are downstairs right I mean, I only went up there because I knew I knocked him, so I wanted to finish the kill. It's just as well I did because Doc got him up. YOLO. Damn it, I wanted to get him then. Oh crap. Got one. There's another one there though, because there's the one on this side as well, so I'm sure of it. Gotcha! 
thanks for watching. We stream regularly on Twitch, links in the description below. If you like what we do, leave a like and subscribe, and we'll see you again soon.